The Bosphorus or Bosphorus is a natural strait and internationally significant waterway located in northwestern Turkey that forms part of the continental boundary between Europe and Asia, and separates Asian Turkey from European Turkey. The world's narrowest strait used for international navigation, the Bosphorus connects the Black Sea with the Sea of Marmara, and, by extension, via the Dardanelles, the Aegean, and Mediterranean Seas. Most of the shores of the strait are heavily settled, straddled by the city of Istanbul's metropolitan population of 17 million inhabitants extending inland from both coasts. Together with the Dardanelles, the Bosphorus forms the Turkish Straits. Name. The Bosphorus is also known as Strait of Constantinople, or as Istanbul Strait. To distinguish it from the Sumerian Bosphorus, it was anciently known as the Thracian Bosphorus. The term could also be used as common noun beta omicron sigma pi omicron rho omicron sigma, meaning a strait, and was also applied to the Hellespont in classical Greek. The Greek name beta omicron sigma pi omicron rho omicron sigma was folk etymologized as from beta omicron sigma pi omicron rho omicron sigma, i.e., cattle straight, from the genitive of baus beta omicron sigma, ox, cattle, plus poros bi omicron rho omicron sigma, passage, thus, cattle passage or cow passage in reference to Io from Greek mythology who was transformed into a cow and condemned to wander the earth until she crossed the Bosphorus where she met Prometheus. This folk etymology was canonized by Aeschylus in Prometheus Bound, where Prometheus prophesied to Io that the strait would be named after her. The site where Io supposedly went ashore was near Chrysopolis, was named Hebaus, the cow. The same site was also known as Demales, as it was where the Athenian general Cheres had erected a monument to his wife Demales. This monument included a colossal statue of a cow. The actual etymology of the name is more likely from the verb beta upsilon zeta omega or beta upsilon omega to fill up, clog up, plug, stop, referring to a plugged or stopped up passage, perhaps also cognate with the name of Byzantium. The speaking with pH as Bosphorus has no justification in the ancient Greek name, but it occurs as a variant in medieval Latin, and in medieval Greek sometimes as beta omicron sigma phi omicron rho omicron sigma, giving rise to the French form Bosphor, Spanish Bosphoro, and Russian. The 12th century Greek scholar John Zetzes calls it Damalite and Bosphoran. But he also reports that in popular usage the strait was known as Prosphoron during his day. The name of the most ancient northern harbour of Constantinople. Geography. Formation The exact cause for the formation of the Bosphorus remains the subject of debate among geologists. Thousands of years ago, the Black Sea became disconnected from the Aegean Sea. The Black Sea Deluge theory contends that the Bosphorus was formed in circa 5600 BC when the rising waters of the Mediterranean Sea and the Sea of Marmara breached through to the Black Sea, which at the time was a low-lying body of fresh water. It is also said in myth that floating rocks known as the Simple Gades or Clashing Rocks once crushed any ship to that attempted passage of the Bosphorus until the hero Jason obtained passage, whereupon the rocks became fixed, and Greek access to the Black Sea was opened. Present morphology The limits of the Bosphorus are defined as the connecting line between the lighthouses of Rumeli Fenery and Anadolu Fenery in the north, and between the Ahirkarpi Fenery and the Kadikoi in Saburnu Fenery in the south. Between these limits, the strait is 31 kilometers long, with a width of 3,329 meters at the northern entrance and 2,826 meters at the southern entrance. Its maximum width is 3,420 meters between Umuyeri and Buyukalimani, and minimum width 700 meters between Kandili Point and Asayan. The depth of the Bosphorus varies from 13 to 110 meters in midstream with an average of 65 meters. 
The deepest location is between Kandili and Babik with 110 meters. The most shallow locations are off Kadikoi and Sabanu on the northward route with 18 meters and off Fasayan Point on the southward route with 13 meters. The Golden Horn is an estuary off the main strait that historically acted as a moat to protect old Istanbul from attack as well as providing a sheltered anchorage for the, the imperial navies of various empires until the 19th century, after which it became a historic neighborhood at the heart of the city, popular with tourists and locals alike. Newer explorations it had been known since before the 20th century that the Black Sea and the Sea of Marmara flow into each other in a geographic example of density flow, and in August 2010, a continuous underwater channel of suspension composition was discovered to flow along the floor of the Bosphorus, which would be the sixth largest river on Earth if it were to be on land. The study of the water and wind erosion of the straits relates to that of its formation. Sections of the shore have been reinforced with concrete or rubble and sections of the strait prone to deposition are periodically dredged. The 2010 team of scientists, led by the University of Leeds, used a robotic yellow submarine to observe detailed flows within an undersea river. Scientifically referred to as a submarine channel, for the first time, submarine channels are similar to land rivers, but they are formed by density currents, underwater flow mixtures of sand, mud and water that are denser than sea water and so sink and flow along the bottom. These channels are the main transport pathway for sediments to the deep sea where they form sedimentary deposits. These deposits ultimately hold not only intact reserves of gas and oil, they also house important secrets, from clues on past climate change to the ways in which mountains were formed. The team studied the detailed flow within these channels and findings included. The channel complex and the density flow provide the ideal natural laboratory for investigating and detailing the structure of the flow field through the channel. Our initial findings show that the flow in these channels is quite different to the flow in river channels on land. Specifically, as flow moves around a bend it spirals in the opposite direction in the deep sea compared to the spiral to that found in river channels on land. This is important in understanding the sedimentology and layers of sediment deposited by these systems. The central tenet of the Black Sea Deluge theory is that as the ocean rose 72.5 meters at the end of the last ice age when the massive ice sheets melted, the sealed Bosphorus was overtopped in a spectacular flood that increased the then freshwater Black Sea Lake 50% and drove people from the shores for many months. This was proven by undersea explorer Robert Ballard, who discovered settlements along the old shoreline. Scientists dated the flood to 7,500 BP or 5,500 BC from fresh saltwater microflora, the peoples driven out by the constantly rising water, which must have been terrifying and inexplicable, spread to all corners of the Western world carrying the story of the Great Flood, how it probably entered most religions. As the waters surged, they scoured a network of seafloor channels less resistant to denser suspended solids in liquid, which remains a very active layer today. The first images of these submarine channels were obtained in 1999, showing them to be of great size in the frame of a NATO SACLANT and a sea research project using jointly the NATO RV Alliance and the Turkish Navy survey ship Kubaklu. In 2002, a survey was carried out on board the Ifrima RV La Serwa for Blasen project completed the multi-beam mapping of this underwater channel fan delta. A complete map was published in 2009 using these previous results with high-quality mapping obtained in 2006. The team will use the data obtained to create innovative computer simulations that can be used to model how sediment flows through these channels. The models the team will produce will have broad applications, including inputting into the design of seafloor engineering by oil and gas companies. 
The project was led by Dr. Jeff Peekel and Dr. Daniel Parsons at the University of Leeds, in collaboration with the University of Southampton, Memorial University, and the Institute of Marine Sciences. The survey was run and coordinated from the Institute of Marine Sciences Research Ship, the R. V. Cockapiri Race. The researchers estimate that the river, known as a submarine channel, would be the sixth largest river in the world if it were on land based on the amount of water flowing through it. History As a part of the only passage between the Black Sea and the Mediterranean, the Bosphorus has always been of great importance from a commercial and military point of view, and remains strategically important today. It is a major sea access route for numerous countries, including Russia and Ukraine. Control over it has been an objective of a number of hostilities in modern history, notably the Russo-Turkish War, as well as of the attack of the Allied powers on the Dardanelles during the 1915 Battle of Gallipoli in the course of World War I. Ancient Greek, Persian, Roman, and Byzantine eras The strategic importance of the Bosphorus dates back millennia. The Greek city-state of Athens in the 5th century BC, which was dependent on grain imports from Scythia, maintained critical alliances with cities which controlled the straits, such as the Megarian colony Byzantium. Persian king Darius I, the Great, in an attempt to subdue the Scythian horsemen who roamed across the north of the Black Sea, crossed through the Bosphorus, then marched towards the Danube River. His army crossed the Bosphorus over an enormous bridge made by connecting Achaemenid boats. This bridge essentially connected the farthest geographic tip of Asia to Europe, encompassing at least some 1,000 meters of open water if not more. Years later, a similar boat bridge would be constructed by Xerxes I on the Dardanelles Strait during his invasion of Greece. The Byzantines called the Bosphorus, Stenon, and most important toponyms of it Bosphorio, Zacra, Argyropolis, Saint, Mummers, Saint, Phocas, Hesiri or Myclean, Phineas, Anaplus or Sosthenion in European side and Hieron Tower, Ionion, Anthemu, Sophianae. Bithany and Crispolis in Asian side in this era the strategic significance of the strait was one of the factors in the decision of the Roman Emperor, Constantine the Great to found there in AD 330 his new capital, Constantinople, which came to be known as the capital of the Eastern Roman Empire. The phrase, swim the Bosphorus, or crossing the Bosphorus was, and is still used to indicate religious conversion to the Eastern Orthodox Church. Ottoman era On 29 May 1453, Constantine's city was conquered by the emerging Ottoman Empire. In fact, as the Ottoman Turks closed in on Constantinople, they constructed a fortification on each side of the strait. Anadolu Hisari and Rumeli Hisari at its peak in the 16th through the 18th centuries, the Ottoman Empire had wrested control of the entire Black Sea area, which was for the time in Ottoman Lake, on which Russian warships were prohibited. Subsequently, several international treaties have governed vessels using the waters. Under the Treaty of Hunker Iskalisi of July 8, 1833, the Bosphorus and Dardanelles Straits were to be closed on Russian demand to naval vessels of other powers. By the terms of the London Straits Convention concluded on July 13, 1841, between the great powers of Europe, Russia, the United Kingdom, France, Austria and Prussia, the ancient rule of the Ottoman Empire was re-established by closing the Turkish Straits to any and all warships barring those of the Sultan's allies during wartime. It thus benefited British naval power at the expense of Russian, as the latter lacked direct access for its navy to the Mediterranean. Following World War I, the 1920 Treaty of Chevres demilitarized the strait and made it an international territory under the control of the League of Nations. Turkish Republican and modern eras this was amended under the 1923 Treaty of Lausanne, which restored the Straits to Turkish territory, but allowed all foreign warships and commercial shipping to traverse the Straits freely. 
Turkey eventually rejected the terms of that treaty, and subsequently Turkey remilitarized the Straits area. The reversion was formalized under the Montreux Convention regarding the regime of the Turkish Straits of July 20, 1936. That convention, which is still in force, treats the Straits as an international shipping lane save that Turkey retains the right to restrict the naval traffic of non-Black Sea states. Turkey was neutral in World War II until February 1945, and the Straits were closed to the warships of belligerent nations during this time. Although some German auxiliary vessels were permitted to transit, in diplomatic conferences, Soviet representatives had made known their interest in Turkish concession of Soviet naval bases on the Straits. This, as well as Stalin's demands for the restitution of the Turkish provinces of Kars, Artvin and Ardahan to the Soviet Union, were considerations in Turkey's decision to abandon neutrality in foreign affairs. Turkey declared war against Germany in February 1945 but did not engage in offensive actions. Turkey joined NATO in 1952, thus affording its straits even more strategic importance as a commercial and military waterway. In more recent years, the Turkish straits have become particularly important for the oil industry. Russian oil, from ports such as Novorossiysk, is exported by tankers primarily to Western Europe and the US, via the Bosphorus and the Dardanelles Straits. In 2011 Turkey planned a 50 km channel through Salivri as a second waterway, reducing risk in the Bosphorus. Crossings Maritime The waters of the Bosphorus are traversed by numerous passenger and vehicular ferries daily, as well as recreational and fishing boats ranging from dinghies to yachts owned by both public and private entities. The strait also experiences significant amounts of international commercial shipping traffic by freighters and tankers. Between its northern limits at Rumeli Fenery and Anadolu Fenery and its southern ones at Ahirkarpi Fenery and Kadikoi and Sabernu Fenery, there are numerous dangerous points for large-scale maritime traffic that require sharp turns and management of visual obstructions. Famously, the stretch between Kandili Point and Asayan requires a 45-degree course alteration in a location where the currents can reach 7 to 8 knots. To the south, at Yenikoi, the necessary course alteration is 80 degrees. Compounding these difficult changes in trajectory, the rear and forward sites at Kandili and Yenikoi are also completely blocked prior to and during the course alteration, making it impossible for ships approaching from the opposite direction to see around these bends. The risks posed by geography are further multiplied by the heavy ferry traffic across the strait, linking the European and Asian sides of the city. As such, all the dangers and obstacles characteristic of narrow waterways are present and acute in this critical sea lane. Land two suspension bridges cross the Bosphorus. The first of these, the Bosphorus Bridge, is 1,074 meters long and was completed in 1973. The second, named Fatih Sultan Mehmet Bridge, is 1,090 meters long and was completed in 1988 about 5 kilometers north of the first bridge. The Bosphorus Bridge forms part of the O1 motorway, while the Fatih Sultan Mehmet Bridge forms part of the Trans-European Motorway. Construction of a third suspension bridge, the Yavuz Sultan Selim Bridge, began on May 29, 2013. Opening is planned for the end of 2015. The bridge will be built near the northern end of the Bosphorus, between the villages of Garapsa on the European side and Poiraskoi on the Asian side. It will be part of the Northern Marmara Motorway, which will be further integrated with the existing Black Sea Coastal Highway, and will allow transit traffic to bypass city traffic. Submarine The Marmarai Project, featuring a 13.7 km long undersea railway tunnel, opened on 29 October 2013. Approximately 1,400 meters of the tunnel runs under the strait, at a depth of about 55 meters. 
an undersea water supply tunnel with a length of 5,551 meters, named the Bosphorus Water Tunnel, was constructed in 2012 to transfer water from the Melon Creek in Dusa province to the European side of Istanbul, a distance of 185 kilometers. The Eurasia Tunnel is a road tunnel between Kazlisma and Gostepe, which began construction in February 2011 and is expected to open in 2016.